Hello everyone, so we're back today and we're going to be looking at Grip. What is Grip? It's the successor to a very old PlayStation game called Roll Cage. Basically, it's almost exactly the same, but it's done in Unreal Engine 4. So we'll go look in the garage here. I, uh, I have my machine decked out kind of like Jet from Roll Cage, for those who remember that game. If not, Jet was basically the, the main vehicle that was shown in all the promotional uh, images for it. So we're going to go into a single event, and what I'll do is I'll show you some classic races here. We can even get a, a work in progress section where we can play maps that aren't finished yet, which is really neat just to see different things. I've also got these final levels here, which are ridiculously hard, so we'll start off easy. So we'll go with Speed Bolt, that's the, uh, the level that you get at the beginning of the game. Basically, this game it reminds me a lot of Wipeout. It's done, the original was done by Cygnosis, and this one has been remade, I don't, I can't remember whether it was the same team, I've been watching it in development for a while, but then I kind of lost track of it, but basically, the difference between Roll Cage and any other game at the time was that you could drive on walls and things like this, this was before like Mario Kart 8, obviously, where they introduced like anti-grav stuff. But the other cool bit is that you can basically jump over your enemies, you can uh, use the classic style weapons to take other enemies out. There's a lot of destruction on the maps and the idea is, like every other racing game, just to go super fast but with a little bit of unpredictability that comes with physics and the way that your car reacts to certain obstacles in the levels. It's just, it's a really good racing game. I absolutely love it. I, I was waiting forever to pick this up. And it came out in the Steam sales the other day and I just had to get it. I just love the way that every weapon seems viable as well. Like, the machine guns, the one things that you'd think wouldn't be that good. Like, every other racing game has machine gun style weapons, but they're not that good. In this, every weapon is viable in terms of it, its ability to knock off other races so that you can easily get that couple of seconds that you need to complete a race. So here yeah, we're, we're on lap three, we're almost done. The Like I said, the cool bit comes from driving on other surfaces we'll see more of that in a moment just gonna finish this one so we've got all these boost pads and everything else these graphics look absolutely fantastic this has been in development for i think at least a couple of years from what i remember oh oh the neat thing about it <laughs> i had the uh, the wind stolen from me there at the very end the neat thing about it is that your car can basically keep driving on any surface more or less upside down and even back to front in some cases it always feels as though it's not like the game rubber banding you when you're playing a game but it definitely feels really really good in terms of how you're able to quickly make a comeback on other races i know i'm playing on easy here at the moment but it's just because i'm still getting used to the game i've played i think about two hours of this so far i've played uh, all the levels that are available and i absolutely enjoy it there are some really breathtaking moments in it like uh, when you get to some of the other levels and you see the ai reacting to what you're doing and getting rocked all over the place by missiles and other projectiles it, it just looks absolutely fantastic let's try and avoid these obstacles in this tunnel here i was actually trying to get that item but the person in front decided they would rob it from me so let's go hit this booster here and oh so oh the, uh, the other neat thing about this is that your racer can actually get destroyed. When it gets destroyed, you don't finish. So, another viable way to 
fight for first place is just to go all out and try and destroy as many other races as you can so that you can move up the field. It's not just a case of, oh, you hit someone and they go out. You, uh, you can a actively just wreck their entire race. It's just a little bit unpredictable because of the way the physics works, but... I got there, there's a, uh, a set of explosive barrels and you can actually use them. Oh, I love the way everybody's got stuck here now. Look at this. There's like four people got stuck there. So, there's a load of explosive barrels on that upper route that you can use to uh, destroy other enemies. There's a lot of different explosives littered around most of the tracks that allow you to really devastate your opponents. I just, I love the way this plays. It's so good. I remember the original on the PS1 and this this is exactly the same. It just looks a lot better because of the advance in technology. Like what I'll do is I'll, after this, I'll put it on one of the later levels, which is, it looks a little bit like Sol from Wipeout 2048 for anyone who's familiar with it. And uh, we'll have a look at that because you get some really, really good races later on. So at the moment we're in first. Oh, we were in first. Oh, I'm glad I wasn't because that's a, uh, it's like a blue shell item where it hits whoever's in first and takes them out. Oh, and my shield's gone. That's not good. There you... There are your average items that act a lot like items off other games, you know, like, for instance, the blue shell item from uh, Mario Kart that immediately aims for whoever's in first. You've got the other items that will uh, home in on players in front, and then you've got the standard assortment of other projectiles like shotguns and uh, machine guns. Like, there's the shotgun. Use it on that guy to try and slow him down a little bit. like you don't always have to show off in terms of going on the roof or anything else like that but it, it really is fun to experience you just get that sense of uh, a little bit of being out of control because you're not exactly sure how the game's going to react when you land again especially if you come off jumps like that and end up having a really bad landing that can really shake you off so you kind of have to learn where the flat parts are of the track and then just gun it for those sections and hopefully have a decent race. Because you don't want to be stuck against anything like I was a moment ago. Like that though, that's really risky. Let's put my shield on. So what this is, is a slow-mo ability. It slows down some of the other users, obviously. There's also... A, uh, a gravity item that allows you to <laughs> there's also a gravity item that allows you to stop incoming missiles and things by deflecting them that's really neat I'm just watch as everybody else here fights it out in the replay and you have experience levels that you can use there to uh, rank up I've not played online on this yet but I'm half tempted to take it online eventually because it is just so fun so let's crank it up a bit we, we can go on uh, acrophobia or we can go on sky track i think i'll do sky track because even though it's a work in progress it's uh, no go on we'll go on acrophobia it's it's kind of awkward this race on certain parts of it but once you get used to it it's fine it's just these areas that have giant open sections of the track that you can fly off are fantastic especially because it's so unpredictable this will be the last race of this kind of mini review and gameplay show off this is on steam now for about i think it's 15 bucks or something definitely worth it it's just really fun classic arcade style ac action in terms of a racer you can just click get straight into it and enjoy yourself. 
here we go. I absolutely love this level just because of how it looks and how much speed you can get in certain areas. This definitely reminds me of when I uh, when I was on Wipeout 2048 and I was testing Sol. That was just so fun. Oh! Love this section round here because it goes absolutely crazy in a moment and gotta recover that. I love that. I tried to launch a missile at the uh, the guy in the lead. Totally messed it up. It's like as I was just about to shoot him, somebody else smashed into me. So we got all these other explosive barrels from the side here. And we got off the track. You'll see a lot of uh, times when you go off the track, you just come back on instantly by being teleported. Now it says I'm in sixth, but I should be able to make a comeback. Parts of the level require you to, funny enough, not go as fast as you'd expect if you want a little bit better maneuverability. So it's a case of deciding on where to go fast and where to slow down just a tiny bit so you have more control. You can also use certain items in mid-air that you won't be able to use on other games, like for instance boosting, so you can control how far your boost goes. And how you move in mid-air, it's really fun. It gives you a lot of options in terms of control and what you want to do at certain sections of the map. It's got to get lined up there. Oh, 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 no. Oh. So we played this for an hour originally when testing it. And the first hour was hilarious, just smashing into everything and not really realizing where we were going. But at the same time, just enjoying the game. It was so fun because we passed the control around between two of us. It was uh, me and Stu. And we just had such a fun time trying to race around without really uh, going off the track as much as possible. We did end up just all over the place, but it was, it was still enjoyable thing is, even when you come in, like, say, third... Oh! Messed that up. Even when you come in, say, third, it doesn't feel as though you've been robbed of any chance of victory because of how the game reacts to everything, like I said, because of the physics and everything else. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it, oh! I'm glad I wasn't in first there now. So, yeah, now... Oh, no. What happened there? What happened there? I think I'm outside the level. There are some small instances, like now, where you get lost in the uh, the level geometry that's just still inside the level boundary, so it doesn't teleport you out. That's the only problem that I have with it at the moment, is that you get stuck in areas like that. And I went from 1st to 10th. I'm glad that didn't hit me. So yeah, we've got the, these fantastic vistas in some of the levels. I did not want to hit that vehicle then. I was trying to go on the upper route with the boosters. I have actually never been down here before. So this is going to be interesting to see what happens here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Sounds like somebody's got a machine gun behind us. I love the way he decided that it would be a good idea to just turn around mid-race there in this, I think. No, it's not the last corner. I think we're about halfway round at the moment. Thing is, I don't want to try jumping because your, your vehicle can basically jump. The problem is, if you jump at the wrong time, you end up just going flying off the level, but you can use it to get over enemy vehicles. I was trying to use it to hop over there then, but now I'm just going to end up in the geometry. And this is the last corner. Ah, oh, fighting for third first there and came second. Anyway, this has been Grip. I hope you've enjoyed this little look at it. And if you want it, it's on Steam in the sales now. So, if you like the look of it, go buy it. It's fantastic. Support these devs, because it's such a fun game.